Ow. I know, I know, cold open. In media res, as they say. Well, quite. Hello, it's a cold open. Uh, welcome to Two Fern Dinosaurs. Um, I'm Siobhan, and with me is Dr. Sinister. Full of enthusiasm. Um, Do you know what they call the spikes on a Stegosaurus's tail? A thargom thargomizer. Thagomizer. Yeah, thagomizer. Yes. You know, do you know why? Yes. Yes, I do. Excellent. Move on. Okay. Um, sorry, folks, but if you don't know, you're going to have to find out, aren't you? Um, dear me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'd be. This, today's the, the day the news that uh, RTD was coming back to Doctor Who. However, we're not going to react to that tonight. Um, that's for the main show on Sunday. This. I think reaction, I've been looking back at this and I've been thinking that possibly the reaction is the wrong word. Reactions tend to be people who are watching something for the first time. Whereas we're not, we're doing a full commentary. So it's a commentary. There we go, that you play along with your DVD. Um, we're on the last two parts of the Robots of Death. And what we're using is UK Britbox to do it. And I haven't queued up. Give me a second, Sin. I haven't actually queued the episode up. I have, because I'm a good boy. Wow. I'm so lucky. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't you dare start. Don't you started. It started. Curse it. Right, so what we've done, what we've done okay, we've hit episode three on Britbox. We went for the Britbox logo to come and go. And we're now on 00.00, .00, .00 on episode three of Robots of Death. Um, what I'm going to do is count down for... Hey, do you want to do it this time? Oh, please. You have always liked to count down. Yes. Go on, then. Uh, okay. Three, two, one, go. And when he says go, that's when you hit the play button on your DVD. Or okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm always ready, Die, yes. spy, un, whatever. <laughs> yep, Doc 2 theme. That's good. Funny you saying that. They've got elections. I, I, at the I don't know German, really. They're, they're, they're having their elections. Quite important ones. Yes. I have been eaten by mosquitoes this week. And I don't know why. Doctor Who in German? Ah, exterminaren. Um, Dr. Von Wehr. That's about all I can do. Oh, it's V16. Hello, love. Good old V16. Cut them Zeta links. Tom's hair very is, is is very um, well. With Pertwee, we'd say Buffon, but with Tom, it's manic. Uh, it's interesting that they haven't tried to glam up the bolt cutters there. No, there's a tool for a job. <laughs> They've just grabbed them from somewhere. They haven't even sprayed them silver. <laughs> I like that. I do like that unnecessary frippery. Yeah. Now, I, I yes. have to say, yes. this sequence does take me a little bit out of the story. Why is this? Well, the sand miner starts to sink, mm -hmm. and the dialogue implies it's sinking a lot quicker than the model shot would imply. I'm still trying to work out how it could sink. Because it doesn't have to be, for want of a phrase, a critical mass of sand underneath that, you, you know, the weight of the sand miner isn't enough to go through it. Yeah. I can only assume that the action of the treads... Where we were, where we were, yeah. Yeah, or may, uh, uh, and maybe combined with perhaps some semi-anti-gravity technology is keeping it afloat. Fair enough. I'm also going to point out that twos, which is one less than threes, um, yes. is using... Her wrist communicator. She is. Rather than her thing. Yes. However, has she actually got her thing? Because aren't the things a bit dangly normally rather than... They're normally sort of off like a... Yeah. Yeah. So she may not actually have a dangly dangly. Whirring. Yeah. Whirring, whirring. No, I do see what you mean about it. It's sort of matching up with the model. Yeah. It's See, he's everybody. got a dangly thing. Yes, exactly. Because he's a man. 
So, I mean, that might be the dangly thing there, but I don't it think it is. Be. No, because it no, because that is a dangly thing. It dangles. The thing on it her dangles. thingy is just Very decoration. So. Yes. I love the lines on her on their faces. It's, I know. It's 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 just such a decadent society. Yeah. They're so so bored they'll do anything. <laughs> Hmm. The dead man was her brother. Fair enough. That's the end of that red herring. Mm -hmm. Another one's been bumped off. Yeah. Do you know what I think? <laughs> <coughs> I think he's very clever. Mm. Oh, oh, hang on a moment. Will it be a Dalek? No, no. No, it's not. Oh, my God, it's a sand miner. Yeah, yeah. Hooray! Storm four or dum whatever it was. Yeah. We haven't got the music. <laughs> we can't hear the music, you see. I wonder what happened to the model. Matt Irvin. That's all I can say. As Whenever anybody asks for anything like that, especially from early 80s backwards. Isn't this a Matt little Irvin. before his time? He might have been a junior. I think one of his first jobs was to actually make the light on the little police bot mo model uh, flash on the Curse of Peladon. Oh, OK, then. All right, in that case, well within his time. Well, okay. he may have still been an assistant designer rather than a main one. I have to see... Who... Invisible Enemy was his first big one, wasn't it? Well, they needed... There was so much to be done because he also... Uh, Ian Schoons was, I think, the main designer on that. Yeah. Um, anyway, if you have a, the model of Storm Mine 4, please send it along with a postcard to... <laughs> London W12 8QT. Eight months. Your I love drinking I love... pools, <laughs> pu pools pee pee. It's a tiny little thing when they put the, sort of the flavour stick thing in the water. It's just a tiny little thing. You know? Mm, yes, I see what you mean. Again, with the world building. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I left my water in there. Oh, well, there we go. Hmm. Your water's been recycled for millions of years. You've been drinking pools, pee pee. <laughs> beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how I can identify a telephone, a telephone, television program by the sound of their key locks on the doors. Yeah. yeah. Do you reckon the sand miners like a, a cruise ship where every now and then they'll rip out all the decoration and put new, new stuff in? A bit cruise shippy inside, isn't it? It is. It is again, though. It's a case of would the company really want to spend that much money? It's all about the profit margin. I mean, they're constantly going on about it until things start going tits up. About yeah. worrying about going home half empty, which will hardly even pay for the, the actual cost of the Operation. voyage. Yeah. Yeah. My job. I love that line. Who are you? How did you get in here? I'm a locksmith, and I'm a locksmith. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Grimwade syndrome's about to kick in. It's not oh, going to yeah. be nice. Yeah, yeah, don't look at the hand. No, no, don't not the, the hand. hand. No, no, don't turn that. Don't, no, don't. No. Oh, you don't want to do oh. that. Oh, oh he doesn't God. listen. Oh, oh, oh it's dear. It's gory, this bit. It's very gory, isn't it? I mean, there is, there isn't just blood there. there There's is, gunge. Is, there's viscera. Oh, good word. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, Grimwade syndrome, it's all come true. Yep. He's broken. So, Wonderful. So they and again, with they I'm so sorry, but again, I just want to point out the world building yeah. detail with the, the laser on logo. I don't know why I'm pointing and at the screen, but there we go. Slightly let down here by the eyes that are clearly about to be composited. Yes. Now, who could that be, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. Do you not think it's a bit daft to employ someone with Grimraid syndrome to work with a robot? Knowing him, he's probably not told anyone. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh, did you know there was a secondary command channel? I didn't until just then. Oh, that was listed as man. What on the what the on the um on the subtitles? subtitles. No, uh, no, I'm getting an epilepsy. Uh. <laughs> There's Michael Bryant again. If I didn't know better, I'd think that this was Britbox's subtitling have, having problems again, but it's not. No. Man. If he's gone bad, they've all gone bad. Quite. Exactly. He's got the command program. Yeah. Ah. Here we go. Hang D on. D84. We love D84. I love that uh, shot. Oh, he's gone a bit nuts. I don't know why I'm, I'm being quiet. Because mm. I can't hear the dialogue. No. And then I, there's I you. Just, yes. He's a special super bug. I see. I heard that. I heard a cry. We're not on that bit yet. No, I know. <laughs> I mean, I'll happily do the whole routine throughout this commentary, but... You can. Again, can Tom will. still reining it in, thankfully. There's a little yeah. bit of giddiness to him now, but he's reining it in still. This I, is quite I, horrible, what, isn't it? i tell you what I appreciate about the inside of the robot's head. Yes. It's not like the android invasion, where it's, you know, kind of just gears and wires and whirring and weirdness. They've actually tried to make it look a bit futuristic. Fair enough. But you've got to remember, that was Kral technology. <laughs> yes. There's the marigolds again. Mm -hmm. Multi-purpose gloves, those are. I, I find yeah. this quite horrible. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, it's, this robot's being violated. Yes. And it would be interesting to see if these robots pass the Turing test. In which case, yeah. they're a life form. Yeah. I love the way he says all these lines. It's so precise. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I love the way I love the way they refer to letters. Yes. <laughs> but again, it's that sort of society where they would, because yeah. it's a way of passing time. I guess. And yeah. being a bit grandoise. Probably got wax seals and everything. Yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. Chuckles. I don't know who Chuckles is. I love the fact the robot is asking the doctor some really good questions. I also like the fact that they haven't gone down the the shtick of having the robot kind of wiggle when he talks. Yeah, biddy biddy like biddy 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 biddy. You he know, a fat controller. He's just totally still. Any rogue Cybermen around? On level four? Mm. No, okay. not, not yet. My favourite level, though, level four. Oh, you, that's good. It's nice you picked one. Yep, come on, put it together, D84. Yeah. Yep. Ah. <laughs> yep. Don't. I have failed. Such a human oh, reaction. Yeah. But congratulations, it's one of the basic free freedoms. Yeah, the Doctor realises the robot's the good guy. Yeah. The 
Stop being so good that I can't talk. You're supposed to be doing a commentary. I still no idea what next week's is going to be. I, I just don't know. Oh dear. Going to Pamela Salem's bedroom now. Yep. Dum little dum 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 dum. I love that shot as well. Mm. Just with it leaning in. But the face being so impassive. Yeah. But yeah, the yeah. way the light changes on it as he moves. It's oh, oh lost oversight there. The lighting in this episode, it's you know, it's not overly bright, it's the shadows, it's you know Well, we've all heard the stories about eighties Doctor Who. The yeah. directors having constant arguments with the lighting director. Turn the lights down. Turn them down. I want darkness, please. Yeah. Oh, don't do darkness. Yes, you do. Well, they'd probably just grab the guy who just been who just been doing every second counts with you know whoever exactly. or whatever game show it was. No, no, no. I think you're quite right there. BBC was like that back then. Yeah. The people didn't specialise. They just you know hmm. whatever job was next. Same again, talking designers and whatever. Especially One week you'll like do Doctor Who, the next week you'll be doing Malcolm and Wise. Exactly. Bye then. <laughs> Are we going to get the shhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
Each palm plate. Two nostrils from a snowflake, one by one. One by one. <laughs> so presumably we're in the very depths of the sand miner in some of, one of the lower presume levels. So. I presume so. Yeah. A, a, a lovely well. joke. A lovely yeah. joke coming up. Yeah. Huh. I cannot speak. I cannot speak. That's just brilliant. And he it's he brilliant. shakes his head just to say, it's a sad for oversight. Yeah. But I can't speak. <laughs> Two's, threes, threes, fours. Yeah. Listen, Deuce. She's like, oh, not this crap mm -hmm. again. <laughs> get everybody and get to the command deck. I'm sure he's going to suggest that. I'll we'll have to wait mm. and see. Oh, get to the command deck. What about everyone yeah. else? Oh, there they are. <laughs> just, just do it, Toos. Get on with it. Oh, I suppose so. Right then, yeah. Takes a hat. Well, command deck. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Coming up another great line yes. from this show. Yeah. Yeah. One that Sutek could use if he wanted to. <laughs> I'm glad you got that. Can't you see I'm burning, burning? <laughs> oh dear. Tusa's fire had had an awakening. Well, I don't know about faster. I think but... so. Oh, if it was a proper track. Mm. You know, bonnet legs and all that. 66 yeah. miles an hour. <laughs> How fast is a Tom Baker? It depends whether it's before or after lunch. It's dictated by the needs of the plot. Quite. Spooky. spooky yes, though. very spooky. That calm voice saying things like this. Yeah. It's just kind of I've I've been told to kill you. Just let please let me do it. Yeah, exactly. It's nothing personal. No. <laughs> right, what's he looking for? A lot of bugged robots on this sand miner. Ah, and a broken man as well. Yes, indeed. Nicely done. Thank you very much. That's almost as if we planned that. It was. We didn't. No. No. Right, let's stop being smug. Um, <laughs> poor Paul. Thing is, the thing is, though, I, I, I get the idea of the dumbs, mm -hmm. but a robot that can't speak can't alert you to a problem. Exactly. Bit silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to remind you of... Oh, poor. unless of course, unless of course, it, the idea would be that a dumb would be paired with a voc, and the dumb would just be adding extra labour. Mm -hmm. Something Paul's dialogue reminds me of here. It's a bit silly, but I'm reminded of Johnny Nice Painter, the character from Fast Show, from the Fast Show, who every yeah. time somebody mentions the word black, goes off on one and comes out with all sorts of random comments. That's what Paul's dialogue <laughs> reminds me of. My eyes are pies. And I love her description. His mind is broken. Yeah. Ah, Russell Hunter being absolutely superb. Look at him. Yeah. The poise. What are you doing here? Yep. I got by my thumb. Uh oh. This can't uh, this go well. As well. This can't go well. No. 
Oh, my arthritis has just kicked off. Fuck. It depends if you. It depends which of us is going to. Kill. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as a side, you know, just a side <laughs> mention. Yeah. Oh, blessed. Now that's a classic line, isn't it? Kill the doctor. Oh, oh fade no. into the end credits. Um, I want to actually stop this. Oh, no, we were going to look for the designer, weren't we? Oh, yeah. So let's actually... We'll get the nice silvery thing. That's quite good. Robots. Lots of robots. I missed it. Yeah, it wasn't a name I recognised. Richard Flex designer. Richard, Richard Conway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, so let's go back. Right, so that's the end of episode three. Thing. Yeah, episode three. We're now going to finish off the Robots of Death. Episode four. Right. Just yes. give me one moment, please. Yes, I have Barney's. a brief, small amount of administration to do. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Well, this is a worry, isn't it, quite frankly? You don't need that looking at you. Back when I was a kid, you see. Back when I was a kid. When you turned the telly off, there was a white dot. And I have returned. That's right. I was just filling in people on historical matters. Uh-oh. That's all right. Don't worry. Absolutely fine. Uh, let's just check, see if anybody said anything at all in Twitch. No, though apparently we have a viewer. Hello. Who is that? that uh, a Russian bot, probably. I can't tell from, oh. the, from Streamlabs. Or possibly I can. I just don't know how. How do you say hello in Russian? Dosvidaniya, or is that thank That's you? That's the one. It's not, is that not thank you? I don't know. I don't know much. I would hardly know any Russian at all, actually. I'm saying that like it's a really bad thing, and I should have really thought about it. Yeah. Right, so what we're doing is we're going to queue up part four of the Robots of Death. Again, okay. getting rid of the Britbox logo. I'm ready. And hit the pause as soon as that kicks off. And then push the little point a bit back as far to the left as I can. All right, then. Um, so, episode four. What could happen? Any thoughts? Any ideas? I think yes. Um, yes. there's probably going to be some death. Yes. Yeah, I think you could be right there. Possibly involving a robot or two. That's a very bold statement to make. And I'll tell you what else. Mm. I think the Doctor's going to be in it. Dr. Leg? <laughs> I want to yes. see that now. I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Dr. What, Leg what and the description of death. No, just, just Dr. Leg in this situation. Oh, <laughs> Oh God! That thank you. I, I, that's made me laugh. <laughs> what a ridiculous thought. Right. Um. Okay. So. Um. I'm going to say three, two, one, go. This time, remember to hit your play button on the DVD when um I say, hit the word go. So, toi, deux, un, allez. There. You're not the only one who can speak another language. I can't really speak another language because I screwed it up the last time, so, you know. Okay. Well, I could have actually said Allons-y. But no, Allez is go. Yes. Allez is go. It's the verb. You, as in a plural of you. Um, sorry, hang on a second. My mouse cursor's <laughs> interfering. Oh, here it comes again. Stuck in a chronic history. It's a long hanger. A lot, uh, Quite a long oh recap. yes, reprise. Yes. Well, I suppose it was always useful, depending on the timing of how the sh the le timing of the show once it had been put together. They could just extend or remove the as much of the reprise as they wanted. Um, look at ah no oh, yeah Genesis of Daleks episode two. There is yeah. no reprise. No. Kill the doctor, eh? Mm. Yeah. Kill the... Kill the... <laughs> pump up the doctor. Pump up the doctor. Sorry. Dance. Dance. 
<laughs> I heard a cry. Oh, oh got it on top of the pops. Yeah, yeah. I got a new hat. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, let's accidentally make it just that bit more atmospheric. Yeah. Whoops. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, he's still there. Why did you open the door? Why did you open the door? I, what? Well, that's, that's the horrifying bit. The robot must have gone quiet. But it, you just wouldn't do it, not without checking in with other people. Mm. At least, you know, you'd phone the doctor for a bit of advice. Phone him. You know what I mean. Oh, it's all kicking off now. Oh, yes. Trouble is, doctor, yeah. your voice print is not in the command pattern. Not that it would make any difference. No, I think we're beyond that point now. They can outrun a human, see? Well, D84 seemed to think he was fast. Oh, and is another corker line. Do not kill Please me. Please do not kill me. Yeah. That is yeah. not the doctor. But it's do like. Do not kill me. It's like. <laughs> you can't be killed. You're a robot. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Yeah. Oh, dear. Two scats are lucky escape here. Yeah. The order should have been finish whatever you're doing and, and then, then yeah. oh hello chestnut you've been acting very oddly this evening yes you have hello yes i know oh dear what have i done uh oh that was my boob if yes. it's gone bad then they all have you know it's immediately van uvanov is in the companion position yeah yeah you know the trust is there bang straight away yeah Wee, and, and another classic line here we are please yeah. do not throw hands at me <laughs> that's just brilliant it's so literal but it's ex exactly right yes yeah yeah what else would you say the, well the, ro <laughs> the robots being precise as you said earlier yeah so where is he your uncle sam Section J. Ooh, so it's got up to J sections. Could that be a deck? J deck? I don't know. What are you doing? What? Which means there's ten decks at least, which sounds about his right. His mind is broken. Hello. Well, you've got to think. I mean, you were saying about you know, they should have checked pool better. I certainly yeah. think the investigating authorities should have put him through the, the, the psychiatric mill a little bit before yeah. signing in this job. Before giving him a partner, which is the thing he hates most. Exactly. <laughs> Especially a really nice partner like D84, who we love. Yeah, we love D84. Hmm. It's just a shame he kind of goes explodey. Goodbye, my friend. Which is just heartbreaking. Yeah. It is. Secrecy is no longer necessary. Do you hear that? Bye then. I have my use. Such intricate work on those headpieces. Yes. Yes, very much. It's this, as we said last time, this is just a masterpiece of design, the whole thing. Not just the design, uh, well, not just the set design, the clothes, everything came together. Yeah. Even Dudley's music. Yeah. Which sometimes can seem a bit out of place. Here, it's spot on. And it, this is so logical. Yeah, exactly. Right? No, we've looked here already. Yeah, so we don't need to look again. <laughs> it's, it's just but it's, a it's, it's the sort of overlook that D84 did about the um yes. you know about, yeah the substitution yes it's yeah. it's that fault of logic that they they somehow have it's consistent yeah do you mind <laughs> I need to see a tail <laughs> he's gone a little bit batshit <laughs> oh 
that took caught Lena's attention. Oh, don't talk to him. I understand. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Would you please get down? Thank you very much, young man. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Surely he could track her position from where her communicator thingy is. I thought, thought so, but I think it's because he's been shifted off, if you like, the command circuit or whatever. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have access to that anymore. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah, so why... Yeah, you could be right in that. Why did it ask if it was her? This is creepy Meanwhile, as well. Grace Brothers. <laughs> yeah. You know something? They've all done yeah. very well. <laughs> Ivanov avoiding Leela as much as he possibly can. Yeah. Considering yeah. what she has done to him and what she will do to him. <laughs> He's about to be very disillusioned. Can I ask a question? Oh, no. No. Now. Now it makes sense for the Doctor not to have a scarf on. Because he used it on the robot. He did, yeah. That's not Shh. one of your robots, Ivanov. Ooh. Does it look better with or without the scarf? Oh, with. Yeah, no, sorry, you're right. The, the silhouette is just, the whole thing is just wrong. Yeah. His mind yeah. is broken. Leela explained it to you. That's quite rude, Doctor. That's very likely. The, the makeup on Pamela Salem's neck is very good mm. as well. Mm -hmm. It's brutal what she's been through. And bang! Robophobia. Yep, we're going to, you know, suddenly another plot thread is tied up. Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm. It was Zilda's brother, but Ivanov wasn't responsible. No. No. And here we've got the thing, you know. Basically, he got the blame, though it was hushed up, though he shouldn't have done. Of course he did. His father was probably high up, mm, friends exactly. with the Cult Corporation, and, mm -hmm. you know. Hello, SV7. He's probably lucky to still be in command. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. Oh, well, he, from the beginning of the story, we've got the idea that he's an expert at this. He's been doing it a long yeah. time, so they'll he's keep him on. Very good at chasing down storms. Exactly. Yeah. That's a nice threat. Yeah. If you surrender, we'll kill you quickly. Five minutes, bring me knitting. Ah. Which just happened to be... Oh, up there in the locker, <laughs> on the command the deck. Who'd have thought it? Where, where they shouldn't, you know, with the last place you'd probably want to put them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You put them down in a separate little armory somewhere yep. low on the ship. That, yeah, away from the engines, away from the storage, mm -hmm. just in a in away armored, from the crew, <laughs> in an armored product, you know, area. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good luck. If he does come back, it'll be Peter Davison. Mm -hmm. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Meow. The way, the way David Collins is lying there with his eyes kind of just rolling, mm. kind of... He's gone, into, he's gone into a fugue state almost. Yeah. Oh, that, oh. They'll bring him back at some stage. See what I said there? See, uh -huh. fugue, bark. <laughs> it wasn't a very smooth joke, that's the problem. 
banging on door. Yes. Can't even be bothered to put I get in a the kind of, I article. get kind of an I know this was before it, but I get kind of an Earthshock vibe here, you know, when they're on the bridge of the mm. spaceship and they freeze the Cyberman in the door. And quite frankly, Russell Hunter is very similar stunt casting to Beryl Reed. Mm. And both of them will pull off their jobs brilliantly. Oh, Dask has gone full fruitcake. He has, yeah. And of course, he's dressed as a super Vok. A super, super Vok. Because his, his arms are puffy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. You have to get a man in. <laughs> You'd think V4, whichever one it was, would have gone and got a replacement hand just by stealing one of these, wouldn't you? Gets the wrong one, ends up with two right hands. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking of the doctor's wife now. Ah. Let just pop his head off. Yep. It's a very clever explanation as well. Quite yeah. frankly. This, Which when I read the book, sense. Or when I first saw this, this was the first time I'd ever heard of body language. Mm hmm. Not, it was not something I was familiar with. But it, it's a great explanation. The fact they called the Grimwig Syndrome... Is though, why when the bonus. V84 was talking, he wasn't doing the wiggly shoulders thing. Exactly. Just... No, you're quite right. The actors playing the robots really took it seriously. Obviously been told how to... Mm. Yeah. Insect Don't movement people... by Rosalind de Winter. Yeah. I'm just looking. They look a bit like ganglia, don't they? Yeah, I was just looking there. This is probably the closest up I've, I've actually watched this. I mean, I've got it on the big telly, but I'm not close to the big telly. But this is on my monitor, so. Ah, now that's an interesting thing he's doing. The doctor said to magnetise them. Mm -hmm. Are we learning something here? How to magnetise explosives? Well, I was, surely the, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation would have banned this episode if we had. It does, doesn't really have a nasty green man, unless you count <laughs> Dask. Didn't they ban a scene where the doctor puts a piece of paper under a door, pushes a key out Someone and did. back in? Someone did, yes. I don't know who <laughs> yeah. it was. I don't know which country. Yeah. Oh, I think you're very important. He's a company droid all the way. Damn straight. Pension for lot. I love the way he says, I will. He's just so happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, metallic clinking. Yes. Don't worry, Paul will save you. Yeah, well, you no, know, he's going to go freak out. <laughs> yep. For heaven's sakes, come on, pull yourselves together. You've got the weaponry. I do love that, you know, mover, pool, pilot, toos. Rather than engineer, pool, you know? Must be found and killed. You're a loony. He's, he's not, a complete fruitcake. Yeah. He really is. He's not half the robot his father was. <laughs> and that's good. That is scary. Yeah. That yeah. is scary. You all have to die. It's an order. All of you. Boom! Whee! And the one behind him? This is good. That was nicely done. Yeah. yeah. It's a good feeling, isn't it? When the hunter becomes the hunter. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh, he's a big convert. He's definitely a big convert. He is. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't bothered to go and get a new hand yet. Poor V6. Oh. See, Taron Capel just doesn't care at the end of the day. Mm. 
If he get, really cared about his robot brothers, he'd have sorted him out. Damn it, he hasn't even put in, you know, some sort of social health care for them. Kill all the humans, just not me. <laughs> nice idea to have your command circuit voice activated. Easy thing to interfere with. Yes. Quite frankly. Yeah. The mouse in the way got a friend. I'm just going to chuck you in a little cupboard for a moment. Don't worry. Mouse. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm suddenly reminded of Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and Baby Groot trying to decide which button to press. So Yeah. Uh, it'll also make him giggle a little bit. Yeah. Or it should do, anyway. Well done, Leela. Pick that up very quickly. She ain't stupid. She is. She is. Oh, awesome no! Oh. Poor D84. Oh. He's lost his BAFTA. <laughs> he has. He had a speech lined up and everything. <laughs> Shit. I'd like to thank my chief mover. Yeah. <laughs> the company. <laughs> ah, Dask's human side coming out. Yeah, just just get if you're gonna if you've got your enemy captured, just kill him. Just put a bullet in his in his brain and leave it. You know. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mister Bond. I expect you to die. Except. Oh, nice touch. That's jolly handy, isn't it? It's a nice touch. We've been seeing that tapestry or whatever yeah. it is throughout the series. Yeah. Now we know it's a door. Yeah. yeah. Presumably to a maintenance corridor or something. I would have thought so, because where they came out of the command deck look, looked like it, it yeah. wasn't a... It wasn't the main mm -hmm. entrance, certainly. <laughs> and this is their first actual proper interaction. Yes. You came close to ruining my plans. Why isn't she giggling yet? <laughs> I am. <laughs> My boring maniac is going to gloat. He's just the doctor just loves winding people up, even when he's like in yeah, a situation like, like this. He can't help himself. Even if it's no win. Yeah. Quick, this is important. <laughs> yeah, I've got to wind you up again. <laughs> you look ridiculous in that outfit. I'll have to remember your father was. Yes. Fuck you, Dask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, let us just quickly check the state of Tom's fillings. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Has he been back to Doc Holiday? <laughs> not the robot way the um i'm not going to be able to tell when the helium starts hitting his voice so you'll have to tell me i think about now it's it's becoming obvious about now all right okay thank you now and then, yeah now i shall read them now i shall read them. Them. i shall program them with the ambition to rule the world He's becoming Smurf-like now. Do you know the game? The, I can't remember. If it was, I think it was the Celestial Toy oh. Maker. The, oh. He's got his go. BAFTA back. Bang. Now that is a mech drop. <laughs> That's a mic drop. I'm sorry. That really is. That's a fuck you. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the moon, the moon, the sky. Hello, the moon, the moon, and the sky. Oh, oh dear. Hello, SV7. And uh, now, he, he, when you kill all the remaining humans, comes back to bite him. Should have been. This is another Davros situation. Should have thought it through. Interestingly enough, had this been a Shara's Jack android, they would have spotted that the Doctor wasn't a human. Yes, exactly. But it's not. No. 
Oh dear. Bye bye. Dum 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 dum. Dolly goes a bit nuts with the music on this one. <laughs> it's a bit Jaws like, isn't it? Mm hmm. When was this? This was 77. Right, that in his trip. head. Hey. He found the hole to do that very quickly, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. The volume. Kill that. She'll start record again. Yeah. Oh, oh, this oh, is dear. Davros. Is Davros. Is Davros. Is Davros. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, SV7 is visibly breathing in the background there. Oh, she's not supposed to notice. <laughs> oh, we're back to one of these long shots with the model and yeah. everything. We like those yeah. shots. It's all right, yeah. yeah. Big uh, circuit board on the top right there, though. <laughs> it's a little ship. They've mentioned the respiratory bypass thing, which I think was first done in. Oh, no. Uh, Pyramids of Mars, I think. Uh -huh. And a fade in again to the end titles. And yeah, Britbox. Very long fade in. Uh, Britbox, that's it. Thank you very much. And good night to, to Britbox. Because reasons. Indeed. What do we make of Robert to Death? Fantastic! Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely love it. Every I, I, I love it every time I watch it. It's my favourite of all time. So I mean, age has not weathered it, is what you're saying, and oh, not just not. age, but watching it over and over again. It's matured like a fine wine. Ah, this is 1979. Um, mm. yeah, as for me, I've always loved it, though for me. Because it was one of the very first ones out on VHS, and I do remember watching it um, on transmission, but because it was on VHS very early on, it was one of the very few videos of Doc 2 you could watch. So I possibly watched it too many times. Which is like I, there's, a lot, there's a lot of stories that I really do like, but I avoid them because I've watched too much. I Okay, I'm glad you said that because I have that exact problem with Attack of the Cybermen, which was the first story that I had my own video recorder mm. that I taped myself and kept the tape. And it wasn't one that I'd converted to audio and I had to wipe the tape. I kept, and I watched it too many times and I'm sick of it. Fair enough. There what? is a rogue Cyberman on level four controller. I do love that. <laughs> Uh, look, I've decided what we're going to do next week because it is my choice. All right. I've forgotten. Fuck. Hang on. Oh. It's a Colin one. Is it a Colin? It wasn't Attack of the Cybermen, was it? No. No, 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 no. No. Come on, you idiot. Two doctors. You've got a cat on your shoulder. Did you know that? Uh, it was talk like, like, talk like a pirate day a couple of days ago, which had me going, Mr. Fibuli! Oh, it was going to be a Tom one of all. Oh no, or was that a Peter one? I don't know. I or, don't read or mine. A Colin one. Go on to something fun. That's it. Revelation of the Daleks. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> Are you picking your know. nose? Um, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we'll we'll watch Revelation of the Daleks. We're finally breaking out of Tom Baker. Um, I was going to go for a Pertwee, but I thought no. I was trying to think of what is really good to do a commentary for. Do you know what I mean? Rather than bad one Doctor episode, Who. Are we doing one episode a week? Two, I would have thought. Because they're 45 minutes, aren't they? Oh, you're right. And I would rather watch them as two 45 minutes rather than a four-parter. So do you want to do one episode a week, then? Let's do that. Yep, that's fine. So, Revelations of the Daleks, part one, next Friday. Um, in uh, which in which the Doctor barely engages with the plot. Yes. <laughs> I think possibly the scriptwriter, or the script editor, one of them, um, may have been a little bit sort of in love with the characters he had that he'd stolen from the lovers. Um, yeah. 
I'm not. It's not a complaint. I'm not complaining. It's different. <laughs> it's certainly that. But there's a lot of walking involved. <laughs> and the joke with the Doctor's fob watch, when they first yeah. did it, I actually was. Never. I. Uh, I was so innocent. I never got that joke until a very long time after that. I'd seen it first. I always thought it was a mistake. I just didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I didn't I didn't put any innuendo in there at all. I did, straight away. Which shows the difference between us, I think. Yeah, I'm innocent and naive. You are corrupt and decrepit. And naive. <laughs> Might as well chuck that in. I mean, why not? So, um, yep, 9pm 9, 9 UK time. Uh, next Friday, we'll be doing Revelation of the Daleks Part 1. Uh, Sunday... With luck, we'll have the flashing blade at 9 p.m. Uh, this is all dependent, I suppose, on BritBox having the 45-minute versions of the episode. Oh, we'll find out. Don't worry. Yes. Uh, if it is the four-parters, we'll do two four-parters. Like we do... Two, no, sorry, two episodes, rather. Than, um, what was I going to say? Yes, uh, so flashing blade on Sunday, 9 p.m. UK time. Looking at Doctor Who, Doom Watch, Blake 7. Big finish. Um... However, it's not a guaranteed show because I need to pay my internet bill and I can't. So um, I'm not, I might have no internet until next Wednesday. Just Donations just, to Patreon. On <laughs> we don't have a Patreon. We don't go around no. scrounging for money. No, no, we steal it. You seen the film The League of Gentlemen? Yeah, that. <laughs> Good film, that. I do like the old Ealing shit. If it was Ealing, I don't know. Right, let's the, one thing, the, one, the one thing this pandemic has done is mm. that nobody questions you when you wear a mask into the bank these days. Who would have thought hoodie culture would have taken off so well? <laughs> <laughs> right, say goodbye to the people online. Goodbye to the people online. Ta-ta, folks.